Thank you, Brenda. And I thank the other members of the Fraser family. And the, the government of Iraq should be under no illusion. The meaning of severest consequences is clear. It provides authority to act if Iraq does not turn the commitment it has now made into compliance. As the Secretary General told the Security Council yesterday, Iraq's complete fulfillment of these obligations is the one and only aim of the agreement. No promise of peace and no policy of patience can be without its limits. Iraq's words must be matched by deeds. The world is watching. And our nation. We will, but lowering the limit, will make responsible Americans take even greater care when they drink alcohol in any amounts if they intend to drive. To people who disregard the lethal threat they pose when they drink and drive, lowering the legal limit will send a strong message that I'm... Oh, I think they were very So, yes, I mean, I'd buy both of them. I'd buy both of them. You go and you find out. Ask Bell, I'm sure we think that the threat of uh, the use of anthrax or other biological weapons uh, will spread in the future, or could spread, and that forces uh, outside of the Gulf could ultimately be, uh, could be the target of such weapons. We hope that's not the case. Um, anybody, uh, any country that were to use those weapons against us, as I said, would face a devastating response. But we think this is a very prudent measure to take against a, uh, a future threat. Well, what is it? Troops, it would be voluntary on their part, uh, and will the United States help the Brits? This is uh, both a safe and effective vaccine, as well as a way that we can protect our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines uh, against what is uh, is obviously uh, a uh, a threat, or at least we perceive it to be so. Once symptoms develop, uh, death would in most cases uh, ensue 48, 72 hours, uh, oh, perhaps with, uh, with aggressive treatment you could extend it a little bit, but uh, uh, we're not talking much longer than that. This is an overwhelming infectious process.